Hello and welcome to Showcase Live here at the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase 2019. My name is Carl Valeri and I'm reporting here. It's a little chilly, but the sun is coming out. I'm here with Jan and Alyssa here at uh, Viking Aircraft Engines. And uh, I tell you, we're really excited to have you back this year. And uh, this is my first time at this show. I've watched you guys online and listened to some of your interviews. And it's great to actually be here on campus. Of course, we met uh, at uh, Sun and Fun. But... Uh, before we get going, how's the show going? It's been a great show. You know, uh, as everybody probably is pointing out, it's been overcast. And, uh, but I think the weather's actually been a lot better, better than, uh, than forecast. And uh, maybe that's uh, not so good because we've been here and it's been nice. Uh, but then, of course, there's people that are watching the forecast and they're like, well, you know, should I go? Should I not go? But overall, it's been perfect. You know, we've had a lot of traffic in our booth. Of course, we're the lead sponsor here, and we're right up front, so we get, like, the front of the people coming in. We get to see how many people are coming and going. And, and uh, you know, we've had a great display. It just happened to be that we brought a few things, but then our customers wanted to bring their plane, so can I fly over? And by the time we were done, we had a S-12 in here, an S-19, a Zenit Super Duty, seven engines, uh, everywhere, you know, powered parachutes, just everything right here. So oh, it's been great, yeah. yeah. I know I was speaking with uh, uh, Zenit the other day with Sebastian, and uh, just hats off to what you guys are doing here, and thanks so much for the sponsorship. Uh, for those folks that don't know, uh, what is Viking Aircraft? This is their first time looking at engines and building, et cetera. The thing about Viking aircraft engines is that, like you said, some people don't know, and uh, maybe it's because they've uh, kind of heard in that uh, you know car engine flying, you know, which is what we do. We take Honda engines and Mitsubishi engines, and we make them fly. And we use uh, our philosophy has always been to not take a bunch of auto parts and put them together, but rather using the technology that's already in existence. By you know, if you went to the showroom tomorrow and you bought a Honda Accord and uh, you took it out on the ride and you're like wow you know why can't i have this in my plane but you can that's what viking does we take like a 2020 2019 honda engine and so it's the latest and greatest and we put those in airplanes so that's the basis of our business you make it sound simple but there's quite a process uh there is quite a process it's a learning curve 30-year learning curve you know so we've made our shares of mistakes but we have a lot of expertise and we we know what we're doing we fly our all of our own uh, creations all over the country to different trade shows and everything and you know being the largest provider of of engines to zenit uh, of course uh, zenit became the number one kit manufacturer uh, a couple of years in Arona, where they have delivered and registered more airplanes uh, to kit aircraft builders than anyone, and then Viking providing most of those engines, it's uh, it's pretty big, yeah. yeah. Something that's important with a kit and also with an engine is the support that you get afterwards. Uh, so as far as support from for me, the customer, right. what can I expect? So you are a customer? I mean, we, I want to be a customer. We do have... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you're going to have to talk to our customer service department for yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so as far as uh, one of the things that's really important to me, as as someone that owns a few aircraft engines, uh, in, in general, is looking towards somebody that can I can call on the phone, not just you know somebody I can chat with on the internet. Well, that's an important service that we do provide. In a lot of instances, you're not working on your airplane Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, when a lot of companies are available. So to make ourselves available through Messenger, through uh, Facebook, through the phone, through the Internet, through anything, is something we do provide Monday or Sunday at noon. It, it doesn't matter because we know the typical builder, this is an after-hours thing. So, you know, we're available for all of that. And all of our engines, everything, it can be shipped same day. You know, we, we have everything in stock. So, and another thing that, that we do implement is uh, a customer, you know, database. We have over a thousand customers worldwide now. So at this point, you're finding uh, a multitude of engines local, nearby, within 30 minutes. So people that have built, installed, and are flying our engines make for a great builder resource, not just on the plane, but on the engine itself. So they're able to make their own little community out of that. And so even if you can't be hands-on and look at something, well, go fly with uh, so-and-so down the road. He's right there near you. So that is something that is huge and it is a great thing that's been implemented is that it really is a tight-knit community and what we consider to be a family. So, you know, we're going to be there. Overall, we try to provide a, an affordable engine and a complete package, but 
we also try to provide something that is a one-on-one -on -one experience for everyone because you'll be dealing with us for the lifetime of your airplane. Uh, unlike maybe when you build a kit and you're kind of done, you know, you're, you're with us for the lifetime, even if it's just once a year during an annual. So. And that's also a nice thing about the parts aspect, you know, the being a Honda engine. Um, I think people underestimate that, you know, if they're going to buy an, an aircraft engine, they need to really, um, number one, of course, everybody makes their own choices. But one, one important thing would be like, you know, what's inside my engine? Is, is this something, you know, what if something breaks? Can I get a part for it or something like that? And, and, and people really underestimate, probably because we're so used to seeing cars, how many millions and millions and millions of these Honda engines are being made and how there's one or two dealerships in most every town in this country and all over the world. So being able to get parts is like, it's like everywhere, you know. If you're stranded on an airport because of a starter or something on a Sunday, you just, just get one. I mean, you, you could even get a, a rebuilt or a reman at, at any of the auto parts stores. So it's, it's a big plus to be able to get plugs and, you know, starters and uh, oil filters and things like that locally in every town. And I think, you know, the whole concept of... Um, you know, now we have Zenit that's really, really supportive of other engines, and we've actually now helped them sell airplane kits, I, I believe, uh, by having a lesser expensive engine alternative. And I, I would just, uh, you know, of course we want to sell engines, we're an engine company, so I would actually, in this interview, and I've maybe never said that before, uh, tell people, like at uh, Kit Fox, people at Just Aircraft uh, Management, that you know, you, you guys are, are really fighting an uphill battle. You, rather than, like, telling your customers that, you know, eh, that's not going to work, you know, follow Sebastian's lead. You know, work with Viking. Work with making your firewall forward package for your airplane using one of these engines. Because you might say, like, well, you know, a customer of ours tried that two years ago. Well, you didn't help him or her. You know, there was an uphill battle. You didn't support it. You didn't make any, you know, cowlings for that. But if you, like, take a look at this engine and you actually support it as a company like Sebastian did, you know, you could make a big difference in your company because you now open up the market for an engine that's half-priced. And maybe as a designer of an airplane, you say, well, you know, I never intended it to have this kind of an engine. Well, you never intended you know, a lot of things, you know, you're a smart person, you're a smart man, you're a smart woman. If you could design the plane, you can certainly design a cowling and an engine mount for this engine. And suddenly you have a modern engine. Suddenly, you know, this thing about, well, if I have a car engine in my plane, it's going to be worth less. Well, it's worth less because you as a manufacturer is not supporting it. That's why, you know. So I would just like say to those people, like, you know, Sebastian's really shown the world that they're, and, and I've been fighting this my whole life in 30 years that, you know, these car engines can actually be used. And they, they are getting better every year and they work really, really well. So one of the things I think you touched on is that customer service and support and the fact that, yeah, you need to, to stretch a little bit. But that community you dis discussed uh, would be the, that place to reach out to and say, hey, listen, you know, you could do this in your aircraft like Zenith has done. I think that was, that was a great point. Uh, going back to also what you said about shipping, um, where would these be coming from? We're in um, Edgewater, Florida at Massey, which is X-50. Oh. We have some commercial hangars out there. And, you know, lately something that we've also been doing for people that not necessarily want to install their engine, we've done four this month. It takes three to four days and they can haul their, you know, their fuselage in. We install the engine and it's running and it's ready to go. So that's also a service that we provide that by the time they've got to a certain point in their build, maybe they're just like, okay, I don't want to handle the engine aspect of it. I trust the manufacturer to install it. And three to four days, and, and you're good to go. And that part of that is, is done. And, um, and we don't have a lead time. So, yeah, we'll ship next day right out of there to wherever you need to be. And even if your kit manufacturer doesn't have firewall forward and mounts, that we do supply every bit and piece. I like to kind of explain it as a Lego kit yeah. to people. Um, you know, every bit, uh, every clamp, every, you know, plier, the coolant, everything, we supply a very full and complete firewall forward and installation package so we don't slow down your build waiting to get apart from here and waiting to get apart from there. And that's very important for us to do because, you know, it, the project already always takes longer than you intend it to be. So that slow down process does not need to be from our end. Great community, great website, vikingaircraftengines.com. Let's talk a little bit about motors and, uh, and what we have here. And uh, also, 
I guess, some of the demo flights that are going on in some of your the aircraft or the, your engines that are in the aircraft. So what are, we, what are the different engines that we can look at with different motors that they can purchase? Uh, we have our, our smallest engine kind of starting from that aspect, which is uh, very comparable as far as weight to maybe a Rotax 912. So it winds up being a really great replacement for those that aren't willing to, to have that cost um, and also not sacrifice any kind of performance. So it's our 90 horsepower. It's a three-cylinder Mitsubishi Mirage engine and obviously always the newest year available. Um, so that's our 90 horsepower and still in testing, but finishing up is our uh, 100 horsepower turbo, which is that engine turbocharged. From there, you know, we have what is kind of the backbone of our company, and that's, that's our 130 horsepower engine, which winds up being a really suitable match for, you know, any and every basic, you know, kit build. So it winds up being a really good um, engine for that. And then we move to our 180 horsepower, which is the 1.5 liter, uh, 170 horsepower engine. It comes out of the, uh, the Honda Civic. Um, again, newest year, and it's all turbocharged right from the car, so it's, it's set up that way. It's no aftermarket turbocharging. And then um, our Honda Accord engine is the 195 horsepower engine. So, What's behind me here? This one here is our 170, and it's in the Zenith 750 Super Duty. Sure. Let's go take a peek at this. I mean, this is a pretty uh, slick aircraft, by the way. Is this yours uh, that's out here yeah. online? Is this? Uh, this airplane? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, our company airplane, yeah, and it's... Uh, we did the first um, Super Duty, uh, you know, out of the factory. Of course, the uh, Zenith had their own Super Duty. And then uh, the first kit that was delivered was uh, ours, Viking. And uh, we have built a lot of Zeniths up through the year. And so, of course, we, we were equipped to be able to take on a, a prototype kit, in a sense, and to make it a, a Super Duty like this. And we... We added some things to it as we went along. We um, added a baggage pod, which we kind of like. We 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 uh, feel like it streamlined the belly of the airplane a little bit, and it allowed us to put a nice radiator up front without really actually showing the radiator. And uh, so between the baggage pod, we did our own cowling based on their cowling. We could have made a sleeker cowling, but we decided to make it look more like an air-cooled engine cowling just, just to keep the the look of the airplane similar up front to the to the Lycoming uh, powered version and um, yeah so you this one you can have that with a 170 or even that 195 the newer um, Honda Accord engine but both of them will use less fuel um, maybe not have the 208 horsepower of the Lycoming clone but at the same time have more thrust based on the uh, gearing of the engine and the uh, five bladed propeller so it's a we get a lot of compliments because the, the, the thing is quiet, it's very smooth, uh, and, uh, and the, the smooth aspect is like a new, even a, to a new level with the five-bladed propeller. It's, it's ridiculously smooth. <laughs> yeah. So that's actually when you come into the show, it's like one of the first things people see is that five-bladed bladed propeller out there and uh, the propellers you have on there? Uh, well, that's a Duke propeller. You know, we're a dealer for Duke propellers, and... Uh, and they, uh, you know, we, we support what they do. They have um, uh, all carbon fiber hub and blade, which is, you know, new to the industry. Um, it's a carbon forged process, which they have patented, uh, meaning you take a lot of layers of carbon fiber cloth and you press it into a mold. Um, and then, of course, it already has the resin in it. And it makes for a very lightweight and superb propeller in many ways. So that's that's something that we support. and. A uh, little bit more money, but definitely uh, a step up in quality. Yeah. Speaking of money, any uh, price points you want to share on, on the engines? Uh, Alyssa works on the pricing on mm -hmm. that all the time. And yeah, well, something that we do is we do offer that very complete package. I and mean, if we're talking base engine prices, I mean, our 90 horsepower is uh, 9000 or 10000 I'm sorry. And then our, um, our 130 is 11 our 170 is 17 and our 195 is around 18 18 or so so now i know why you call it affordable you know and, and this is really what we're doing here is a affordable aircraft here at uh, sport aviation showcase anything else you want to tell us about the engines and uh, about your company uh, before you cut off um, nothing other than, I guess, really um, really take a look at the group of people that are flying. And if, if you really want real-world experience, our customers, you know, you don't have to necessarily even talk to us. You can talk to us, and you can get that experience from our customers, from everything from customer satisfaction to the performance of the engine. And just to know that, you know, even though we provide an affordable thing, it's because we're doing it with mass-produced right. engines, not because... 
you know, we're using products that aren't of quality. That's the most important thing is that we have safe and quality products at an affordable price and that we offer that complete package to our customers to make it all easier. And like, uh, Very like, important. Uh, like Alyssa has been pointing out to me too, you know, the, there, there are things that are easy to overlook, which will be things like, um, like what she's saying, that the mass production of the engines means a lot. Uh, it means that there wasn't uh, somebody in their um, living room or a, a dirty garage or whatever assembling an engine. This was done by robotics at the Honda factory using the kind of quality that you would find because the engine has never been opened up. It is, it is a professionally automotive assembled engine. And that's that's a big deal. Um, yeah, you can buy aftermarket automotive parts and put them together, but uh, and you can mix and match valves and camshafts and uh, and all that. But but that's what you have. You don't have this is a huge step. And then people kind of tend to miss the point of that there's been a lot going on with engines even in the last five years. You know, you didn't used to have fractured connecting rods. You didn't used to have direct uh, injection engines. And you didn't have engines that have an ultimate low internal level of friction because of all kinds of, of special coatings that are going on these parts. There is a huge um, you know, uh, pressure on automotive engine manufacturers to make the engines better, more efficient, smoother, more balanced, and all that. And, and you're not going to find that by putting together an engine yourself or have or buy a, a low volume engine because obviously we have competitors and and I think one thing that comes out there a lot is that people want to say that um, you know uh, and you know Viking uses you know the old term junkyard engines I mean that, that, there's no way around that people say that uh, the the um, uh, truth about that of course and we've done some videos on that and Alyssa has been um, helping with that and that is to show people that you know like i was saying before about that honda engine you go and drive it and test it and stuff this is an enormous country we have fender benders all the time in this country about cars we have car manufacturers that have cars that have scrap got scratched in tra in in transportation uh, we have all kinds of engines that we get that have a thousand miles on them they have never been like touched in the engine compartment. Mm -hmm. These things come in and they look brand spanking new, and it is just a, it's just for people to realize that that the old term junkyard engine, where you would dig and like get a monkey wrench out to get a part from underneath the car, yeah. it's not like that. These engines are all lined up. Uh, there we buy them uh, from sources that we know. They all have Carfax reports. There's full pictures of these cars. They're brand, you know, they're they're only been on the road for a month. Everything is perfect. Yeah, and of course, the nice thing is the customer also can do a Carfax report on their own engine because the engine has a, a VIN number. Right, yeah, number. yeah. Well, that's, that's that is something. I mean, he did touch on a little bit, but for instance, you know, we have seven engines here, and I can say that a solid five of them have less than 15 miles on them. So old is not really old. Um, old is you know a block from 2000. This is a 2019 block with 10 miles on it. Um, that's not my version of old. Um, and I don't think it's most people's version of it either. And, and that makes everything a lot easier for part availability and, and, and all the way around. And still having the original Carfax and placard and a right of refusal through our vendors makes everything um, really streamlined and really affordable. And you still wind up with a brand new engine. So that's, that's just more of what we would do. The Viking Aircraft Engines right here, uh, show center. You can, it's easy to find. And uh, real friendly folks cool propeller great uh, great display you have out here hopefully we'll see this airplane fly later on possibly leaving and uh, one of the things that I really ha love about this show just some comments from you folks is is that that community spirit but also the intimacy you actually get to, to talk to those customers and I'm wondering what uh, what your experience has been here so far it's been perfect yeah I mean we uh, we like like we said we're a sponsor so we've been here since the first time they had this show mm -hmm. and uh, we don't live very far away uh, so for us, it's, uh, you know, we can bring a lot of stuff here. Uh, we can bring a lot of engines. We can fly several airplanes over here. We can have a nice display. And uh, then walking down and talking to all the vendors, it's perfect. You know, we can all interact with each other. Um, we get to meet people that we talk to uh, through the Internet and on the phone. And people, we, we get a lot of compliments, and we're very grateful for that. And so it's, it's been fun. 
I yeah. think I think the one I think the one on one experience that you're able to get here and when you're able to get um, the actual vendor one on one and have that time allocated for you is really important and this show does offer that. Um, whereas in maybe Sun and Fun or Oshkosh, which everybody knows about, um, people can be a little intimidated to approach the manufacturer yeah. just because of the crowds that are there, maybe feel like they can't quite get their question in. And so it's a great opportunity. So if you really already know what you want, you've already done your research and you need that final push, um, coming here and talking to those vendors is this is the best opportunity to do that now, especially here in Florida. And I want to just mention one thing that to highlight that and because I thought of that when she was saying that, and that's a hundred percent true. We get phone calls uh, like the days after Sun and Fun and Oshkosh where people would be like, well, you know, um, I didn't get to talk to you even though I was there because uh, I walked by four times and you guys were busy. And I think here uh, it's also busy, but people have the time to talk right. here. And even if there's a small group of people around an engine, you know, you can you can be part of a discussion, uh, which, you know, is different than than uh, just seeing it on the internet. Yeah, and that actually goes both ways. There is another funny part of that, and there'll be somebody who will come to an air show. And they are like, look at the engine for a little bit. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go home and study that on the Internet. Right. It's, it's like, no, it, it's here. <laughs> it's in front of you. <laughs> well, you know, talking about that, at least, you know, if you're someone who's watching right now and looking at these engines, I mean, you're going to be back here. You're looking at any of these motors. You'll be back. You'll be at the other air shows. And say it's a, a, a year off. You're thinking about building. I would highly recommend you coming back here. Obviously, you can download these videos from Facebook. And you can also look at not just that, but also on the YouTube channel, they have the higher resolution of this video. So if there's something here that, that you said, or we said, then you want to go back and listen again, of course you can do that. But on their website too, they have lots of videos and other information. So if you, if you do get a chance, come out here to the Showcase Live. It's an outstanding intimate type of relationship with, with the vendors. I can sit here and talk for hours with you guys this yeah. is about motors, that's for sure. Well, I appreciate you talking to us. Uh, again, it's going to be uh, vikingaircraftengines.com for you that are out there watching right now. And uh, I really you know, highly recommend you just reaching out. Massey, I tell you, what a cool airport. Uh, can we come down and visit? Absolutely. Give us a heads up. We're always there. Just uh, fly in, drive in. I mean, walk in if you want. But uh, we're there and we'll always give you a tour. And if we're available, we'll give you a ride in this uh, little beast you got behind you. So. Well, Jan, Alyssa, we really appreciate your taking the time to talk to us here and also uh, appreciate your sponsorship. And uh, it's been just wonderful being able to reach out and talk to some people that love airplanes, uh, just like everybody else out here. Right. So, as Carl Valeri here with uh, Showcase Live. 2019 Deland Sport Aviation Showcase. Tell you what, it's warmed up finally. I know I'm shivering a little bit, but, but, it, but it is getting better and the sun's starting to come out. Uh, again, don't forget you can download these from both YouTube and also on Facebook. Shout out to our cameraman, Tom Frick, and also Mike Daniels, Elizabeth Daniels, and Dave Shalbetter, Roy Brewer. Carl Valeri reporting here live from 2019 Deland Showcase.